Hey, this is Alex with Quick Solar, and I'm excited to introduce to you our new Quick Solar 2.0. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your new projects in our new Pro Dashboard and Project Page interfaces. First, when you log in, you will notice that your new Pro Dashboard no longer has a toolbar at the top. All the icons you use for project management are now in line with each project. So I just hover over the new project to reveal my options. I can edit the project open all proposals for this project, which will open all saved proposals each in their own new window, send all saved proposals to my customer in one single email, reassign the user who has access to manage the project within my company, and delete the project. To start a new project, I'm simply going to click the big green button here and enter my customer's information into this form. Now my new project has been created in its own project page. So on the left side, I can edit each section of the customer's information by clicking on the green pencil icons here. So this is where I edit the customer's contact information. For the utility rate, you now have two options. First, you can select manual override, which uses the closest detected utility company from the project's address, as well as a regional average utility rate. The utility inflation of the utility rate will always default to 5%. All these fields can be changed so a different utility company can show up in my proposals. If I type in SDG&E here. And a different flat rate can be used in the design tool, so I'll just type in 20 cents here, as well as any annual inflation value. All default values can be reloaded at any time just by clicking the Load Regional Averages link here. Now on the bottom, we have a second option now to select from almost 40,000 rate schedules from over 3,700 utility companies in the United States. Just start typing in your utility company here. And we're going to use San Diego Gas and Electric. And it's going to load all of the saved rates for sdg &A. Now it's important to note that different homeowners are going to be using different rate schedules. So to find the correct rate schedule, you have to look at a copy of their energy bill. Obviously, every energy bill will be different, but you have to look for the rate schedule somewhere on that bill. And if you want to see how each rate in our database breaks down, just click on it to open it in a new window and navigate to the Energy tab to see how the rates are being used. Next, we have Energy Bills. I can enter 12 months of consumption and cost data, provided I have that information from my customer. Or if I want to use monthly averages, I can simply enter them here at the top and it's going to auto fill those values for the entire year for both consumption and cost. In the subsidy section, it will always default to the U.S. Federal Solar Tax Credit and any available state, utility, or regional level subsidies in the project's jurisdiction will be available here. For more on creating new incentives, you can check out the video entitled Quick Solar Incentive Wiki on our YouTube channel. Notes on the customer's home can be taken here and any files that you want to store with the project will be available here. These will now appear to the customer in their proposals. This is just cloud storage space for you. Now on the right side of the project page are all of our saved designs. When I click on each design, I'll get a thumbnail preview of the design in the space below. And again, just like on the Pro Dashboard, all of my icons to manage each design are in line with the projects. So I can select Open to open the saved design and make changes to that design. Proposal to open the proposal in a new window. Send to send the proposal directly to the email associated with this customer. And Delete to delete the design. To start a new design, click the big green button at the top and away you go. Watch our design tool setup video next to get acquainted with the Quick Solar design tool. Thanks for watching this overview of your new project setup interface, and we hope you enjoy using Quick Solar 2.0. Stay tuned for more big releases coming soon.